and welcome to Run It Down episode 11. I don't even know how many, I don't even know how we got here in the first place because I hate doing this. I hate spending time with the players. Um, with I hate it. I hate it even more. We all hate it. So I don't know how the fuck we got 11 episodes in. Um, I'm here today with Perks and Jankos, who both don't want to be here. Neither I want them to be here. Actually, that's not true. We're actually happy we qualified for playoffs, okay? So how you guys feeling after making the, uh, the, the, the unthinkable, the, the, the unexpected of qualifying to playoffs as you do sports? Feeling like shit. I was kind of hoping for a long vacation this year. No. Uh, my plans got kind of ruined. Um, so, well, you, yeah. You, you but now we have to right? roll instead. Oh, okay. Good stuff. So that kind of sucks, you know. We just have to do it, though. I hear you. Jankos, you, you were ecstatic, I heard. Uh, I mean, I personally don't mind much because I really don't like summer. So I might as well just like end the season when it's autumn time and it's actually cold outside. Then I can have my vacation. So for now, I'm just chilling in the in AC room and I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. So, so first things first, because you know I ask mo the most important questions uh, first. And who, who from the team plays Fall Guys? Uh, Wunder, me, Duff and Grabs. The best players uh, of the team. Is it a coincidence? I don't think so. Jankos, do you do you play it? Nah, but it it looks fun. It's just I didn't. I was think, I was thinking about playing it on stream because it's like a stream game. I think this is. I don't know. I I don't think I would enjoy this game playing it like alone in my like. Yeah, I don't think anybody basement. plays this game alone except if they're serial killers. A serial killer, a, a social. Wait, do you play this game? <laughs> I I played it alone. Well, there you go. <laughs> I I, <laughs> I knew I was onto something. I don't know why this question is here, but I'm gonna ask it. Jankos, what ice cream did you eat, and why was it faker ice cream? I didn't eat faker ice cream yet. I wish I could try faker ice cream because what I had faker ice cream. Oh ice yeah, cream. I, I'm stupid. I forgot. Yeah, in Korea. <sighs> did you did you ever saw it? You probably did. Okay, so I yeah, I wanna eat faker ice cream at some point in my life. Um, and the ice cream we eat in the house is like a candy bar ice cream so it's either like sneakers or mars ice cream uh we also eat Dude, the sneakers dust, ice cream is strawberry good. cheesecake <laughs> <laughs> the what yeah, sneakers ice cream and, and sneakers white chocolate ice cream all of this is pretty good yeah you know what I, I've, I've i've realized i really really like uh fruity loops kellogg's fruity loops wait what's fruity loop is it the is unicorn it the one kellogg's unicorn loops whatever it's called like colorful they're incredibly tasty. Isn't that like for kids? What's your problem? It, 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 is, it is not for kids. Are waffles for kids? No, because they have too many calories for a kid to intake. You know what? Fuck you and your facts. <laughs> Fuck you and your facts. You should test that out. It's actually very, very yeah. good. Those cereals are amazing. Okay. So, so Jack Hey, you're talking about cereals, not about ice cream. I changed the topic to something I liked. Ah, yeah, okay. No, okay, no, Jerkos, like uh, you said you won about. nine solo queue games in a row. Nine, please, teach me how to win so many solo queue games. <laughs> That's what it fucking <laughs> says here, okay? Question. I don't want to ask this question. Explain us. How do you win nine solo queue games in a row, Jankos? Um, you pick Lissin yeah, in none of them? You have to be really good at the game. Yeah, I pick Lissin, play like six of them, and uh, you just have to win. You just have to be good. I know you never experienced it, Carlos, because I remember back in the day, your streams were always about like tilting and about like losing every single game and about like the Polish mafia inting you. So, uh, the Polish mafia yeah. inting me is the, worst, is the worst time of my life, okay? I'm pretty sure you were part of it at some point. I was, I was never part of the Polish mafia. I was like, too that's what young. you keep saying. But I remember, I, honestly, I think you have inted me a couple of times. Maybe I actually went into like a, the next level of inting you, and I'm in G2 right now. Like I'm, I'm like still into it, you know. <laughs> I'm still inting you. <laughs> so, yeah, you actually made playoffs, which it was in doubt at some point by some people, right? But you internally, you guys knew that, you know, all it took you was to get back to to practice. You know, all it took you is to get back into the rhythm, and and I guess you know at some point you felt like you were just a bad team or just became a bad team. Like, can you speak a little bit about how all of that, you know, came together when you were shit, when you were, you know, I guess after winning against Rogue with the Baron still and so on, how did that all work out in your head? Honestly, we were this close to missing playoffs, I think. Yep. I think so. I think if we lost against Rogue, well, it wouldn't be like 
impossible to make it, but it will be like so fucking hard to do it. I think uh, at that point we would have had to win like all our games to make it, which we did anyways, right? But like winning all your games when you're on a losing streak is like very hard. It's like so. It's hard to say. Like when you're losing, everything feels like impossible. And even though you are like you know for a fact you're like good team, good players, and like those small mistakes happen much more often. And there's not like an easy way to fix them. It's just about. It's just about luck, honestly. You just have to be lucky enough at some point to win. And then it's back to the normal, back to the usual. The yeah, losing streaks are are horrible. They are, they are horrible. So, Jankos, how did it feel for you? Because I guess each player feels it differently, you know? Uh, but h how do you feel in these moments? Um, Now, in hindsight, it's not, easier, Not guess, happy. Yeah, in hindsight, it's pretty easy, but I think... Um, I mean, like Luca mentioned, the win against Rogue was pretty important. At the same time, though, we had, like, some... Really, I mean, you could say unlucky or just bad games where yeah. we were in the lead um, and we threw it. Um, like even when Luca was taking a week off, I remember our game against SK where the game was not sorry against Excel where the game was in our pocket, but we kind of like threw it at Nash and at uh, mid lane, you know, getting caught and stuff. And like that could have been a free win, which could in theory translate into like us um, not being as stressed out about losing so many games and I think that we as a team tend to go um, you know tend to win a lot of games in regular season even last spring split uh, but we realized that this split the first 2-0 week we had was like week 7 <laughs> so either we went 0-2 or we went 1-1 every single week for like 7 weeks in a row or like 6 so it was pretty extreme um, and uh, I personally gave up on like a lot of social as aspects of my life um, before uh, like the, I think between week four and five, we had like a week break where we went to, for vacation and then we came back and uh, we went zero two, <laughs> I believe. <laughs> um, and of course we didn't practice much, but I realized that I will just like kind of, I mean, for myself at least being just, just for myself, I kind of just stopped talking to like a lot of friends i guess and and just like not playing any other games than league so i'm just like only playing league right now and i'm not doing anything else except for playing league and i'm st like right now since we are in playoffs i started watching anime again and maybe we can watch like a movie as a team which is pretty fun because that's something i can do outside of league but yeah it, for me it was like only league and uh, a little bit of gym for like the past three four weeks um and so and some extras that i cannot mention but you should know carlos uh because you know it was also uh, with g2 uh so it was like a really difficult and hard working couple of weeks and i'm pretty happy with it because um you know yeah it's at least we made it you know so i uh i want to win playoffs and then i want to go to worlds yeah at what at what point do you believe in the in the Schalke miracle run? Probably not until the very last game where they qualify to play us. <laughs> <Do> they, <you laughs> like they're still... actually good. Like or or you think that this, there's a lot of things that got them where they are currently. Just a lot of I guess lack and momentum and blah. Or do you do you think that you know this is insane? I mean, I think they play very confident on stage, and that makes them win a lot of the games because. Even when they fall behind, they like keep forcing, keep fighting, and they win those fights. And normally, when you look at the players, you wouldn't say that you know there's a lot of out of outplay potential. But for some reason, they are smurfing. Like Julius is smurfing, Abadaja is like so fucking good. Like I don't know how. <laughs> and like Odwamna is like not inting, you know. Like their bot lane is not inting. Like everyone is playing so good. So I don't actually know how Sharke got so good. But I think yeah, it's pretty momentum. Probably the fact that also there was like no pressure on them like maybe in the last game there was some pressure on them but like no one actually believed in them and i feel like even though everyone was memeing yeah shark is the new kings or something then no one really really believed it you know everyone was saying it just to make a meme and a narrative and then it turned out to be true and now they are in playoffs and now they face sk uh, they face sk gaming in uh in a bo5 and i think i mean i they will most likely win but honestly i wouldn't be like that sure since you know it actually matters now and there'll be more pressure on them and we are still playing online which i think could help some players because maybe they would like choke more offline uh but yeah i mean i would not be surprised if you would see shark at worlds and that would be like a crazy story so <laughs> dozens of fans would be so happy man 
I mean, I would like to see like a Bataja against Faker, you know. It, did, did you coin that term, Perks? Faker Dagger? It was yours? I think so, yeah. I mean, Not everybody I mean, in the chat calling him like, Faker Dagger. I mean, maybe someone else that came up with it as well, uh, but yeah. I for sure call him Faker Dagger. Yeah. yeah, so Faker Dagger is not is now a thing on Twitch chat. Congratulations, you made somebody relevant. How do you feel now? <laughs> nice. Now I just have to poach him <laughs> <laughs> for the pool. So uh, for, Mao, for, from the teams that uh, that qualified for playoffs, um, who do you think deserved it? I mean, who do you think didn't deserve it? And from the teams that didn't make it to playoffs, who do you think deserved it? And I guess deserve is a bad word, but. Who do you think what? Are, are like, you know, should definitely skill wise in terms of like how good the team is should be in playoffs versus who shouldn't? No one. All right. I think this is the correct representation of skill. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be like so sure about like origin, I guess, but I'm not sure. Like, I mean, they are six maybe. and 12. Like they must be fine. Yeah, that's bad. true. Like, like uh, there is, yeah. Six and 12. They I mean, I mean, okay. Crap. So like you can always say that like, if if the season ends the way the, it does, then everyone who should be in playoffs is in playoffs, and not and everyone That's who is point, not yeah. in playoffs is not in playoffs, right? So it's like it's very hard to say who doesn't deserve it or who deserves it more. The only thing I would say is that if you are like a first place team in like summer and you are like a fucking fifth team in spring speed, you should probably not be first seed according to points in summer. I know that's fucking but, bullshit, uh, bro. That's but, so stupid. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I didn't just, even yeah. mention that, but I agree. Yeah, dude, it's just <laughs> yeah. so fucking so, stupid. Uh, so yeah. stupid. I, I, so now that we all agree, yeah, it's fucking shit system. Nice, good fucking job, Riot Games, and uh, yeah. <laughs> so fucking stupid. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they will. I mean, yeah. I, I can't speak about what goes on behind the scenes because it's confidential, right? Um, but uh, yeah, it's yeah. I, I wasn't happy when that was agreed on. Um, yeah, it it just fucking sucks. I don't I don't fucking get like what's the point of playing Spring Split? You may as well just not fucking play it. Yes, you may as well just become rank one in WoW in the meantime. Like, I mean, I, I also think that uh, you should like get slightly rewarded for winning a BO5, right? Because uh, the Rogue got... Like, we didn't really... I mean, the points we got from Spring Split, were they from, like, regular season or playoffs? They were for playoffs, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah exactly. So, it, like, we, that's they a, are getting that's actually rewarded a good point. for being good. They are getting rewarded for being good in a BO1s. Yeah. But we should like s get slightly rewarded for like actually like winning the fucking championship, you know? <laughs> like maybe I, I don't know really. I mean, I, it's fine, you know. It's just riot rules. Well, like, winning championship, how many points did it give? Ninety, or yeah, yeah ninety points. Yeah. And getting second in in summer split, how many points does it give in in, in regular season? I think like over one hundred, but I don't yeah, know exactly. Like many. so, getting second in regular season is worth more than winning a whole split. That just tells you the whole story of what the, what's wrong with the system, right? Um, but whatever. I mean, th this is what it is. I mean, we're, we're, we're gonna we we definitely are on it to try to fix it for for next seasons. Um, but I think everybody agrees with you. It's it's pretty bullshit. And 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 by the way, I think that just looking at the fact that there's only ten teams in the league, you only play twice against each team. Each time you play against them is a bo one, so there's only eighteen games per season, per split, right? I'm not sure 18 games adequately um, describes who is better or worse over the course of a league, you know? Um, but if you still want to keep it this way, at least you should make it so at least eight teams out of 10 go to playoffs, right? And then the and then, and then then what matters the most is, I guess, the seeding that you get from the league, from the regular season. But I think that the fact that you could have gotten seventh and you would have missed playoffs, and you would have missed Worlds after having won Spring. It's so insane. Yeah, that is insane. All right, so the in-game questions. Where's SK? Jankos, Grabs put you on listen. Actually, did Grabs put you on listen, or did you guys put you on listen? I guess we did. I mean, it's it's a good champ, you know? So yeah. it's, uh, it, if it fits the game, it's, it's not bad. I see. Well, on to the next question, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that was a question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think Mickey deserves player of the game. Please open the tweet from Shakaris. Oh no, wait, is it the Nautilus play? But but you know that it doesn't end with Mickey, right? There is also like my part. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, I've me, seen okay? that. You flash onto the trap, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this is what I have to okay, play okay. With, with my support. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like this is my support and my jungler. And then I'm getting like and then I'm getting flamed. <laughs> yeah. I mean um, I don't know. But honestly to our defense, like There's no defense. Um there's no defense, yeah. Actually this is just not a defense. <laughs> <This is> not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say here. Like, you know, I was not sure because in the first part, I was like, I didn't really look at the bot lane and then I wanted to join fast and then I just flashed into a trap. But like in the second part, I didn't even like, I, I knew Luca was getting dived, you know, he was loud about it, but I didn't really see, like I knew we, Mickey is over the wall, but I didn't know he, he hex flashed <laughs> like that. All right. Uh, Wonder had to save you guys so hard. Okay, let's play this clip of Wonder saving you guys so hard. What happened here? Oh shit! Yeah, you you were super low. I was actually fearing the quadra kill here. Actually, dude, how broken is is Caitlyn though? Look at that. What? Everyone's getting killed. No, there is no. Way. I, I I think we kill him. Yeah, I we think we kill him without wonder. Really? Yeah, for sure. All right. Sim yeah. Just stuns him and then I will fire can on one of him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Dude, we that was scary. Into the traps as well, so yeah. That was scary, bro. Look at this. But she does so much damage, bro. Oh my god. Is it fun to play uh, Kaylin right now? Luka? I think the biggest meme Kaylin, in the yeah, world Kaylin right now broken. is uh, when people say top lane is weak roll. I yeah, think that's like the biggest true, yeah. meme. It's true. Yeah. Like, top it's lane has bonds. been like so fucking good. Bro, every like time, time now. Wonder just goes out of lane with Cho'Gath or whatever the hell, it's just so broken. It's just I don't know. Maybe Jax. Top I don't know. Jax is... didn't feel that broken, I guess, but. Yeah, but he was also kind of running it. Yeah, he was rusty. But okay. I mean, he played like fine at later on. Dude, he, he, played played running it, like, he, he didn't play well, bad, but yeah, yeah. But you could see that his pick up he was him. um, yeah. How by his mundo, I don't think you could see he was first timing, but by his jacks, you could see he was first timing. Yeah, I think so. Too, yeah. Oh yeah, that fucking mundo. That, that shit actually is broken. What? I I I don't know. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Reddit analyst or? Yeah, I think he's a Twitter analyst right now. Yeah, I'm a Twitter analyst. <laughs> hey, right Carlos, now. do you like sometimes hey, do it? Hey, like... hey, 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 Don't make this a thing, okay? I just gave you my opinion. <laughs> I, I, gave you my, I gave you my opinion. I'll take it away, okay? I take it away. I don't know nothing about the fucking game. You call me Twitter analyst again, I'm going to fucking look for you. Okay? <laughs> 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 All right. So, Dr. Bundo pick. How, how did I come together? Again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just curious, okay? I'm not questioning. No fucking Twitter analyst. Explain to us the Mundo pick. Well, I mean, I guess Wunder just said pick me Mundo three seconds before the timer was done. And then so that is true. Said, so the, the, yeah, the legend is everyone true. Everyone said like, yeah, it's good, you know? Like, yeah, sure. I it's liked it. Good. I think, I thought yeah. it was a good pick. I mean, it was a bit troll, you know, because they never played Mundo, but it wasn't a, not a bad pick. I could see it. If moment. you like figure out the champion three seconds before like the lock in happens, normally it's like a good idea, you know. It's like a yeah. clutch one. So you just yeah, like go it with is, it yeah. and you believe in it. Or it's a really fucking int one. But it's <laughs> yeah. like a, yeah. Yeah, but a really high was, high risk high reward. He was good in lane as well, I don't know. He got a solo kill, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah. Right. Yeah, um, he did get a solo kill. Let, let, let's play the clip of uh Jankos just completely manhandling the dinosaur. Look at this shit. Have you seen this, Jankos? You know, actually, like, I can't believe that, like, after this, right, I just get one shot, and then, like, Caitlyn's full HP because she life steals, even though, like, I do so much damage to my ult, I was, like, pretty upset. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Because I thought I'm smurfing, and then, like, wow. and then, and then, like, my team had to, like, still, like, clean this fight up without me, because I, I didn't wow. do that much. I mean, I guess we won this fight, but... Uh, nice dodge, uh, Luca. Wonderful dodge. Thank you. Um, versus Axel. Let's move on to the third and last super game. So, actually, Gilius said that um, that you, you told him you would 100% win that game. And he said when G2 says they're going to 100% win that game, they will win 100% of the game. That's true, yeah. Pretty much true. So, if, so they didn't a part of you, even a small part of you, tell you, oh, shit, if we lose now, you know, Fnatic could be fucked. <laughs> We were uh, we were thinking about it uh, <laughs> about the fact that they could be fucked. Obviously, nothing more. And that, obviously, nothing more. Obviously, but uh, like we would never say that we should actually like lose this game on purpose just yeah, for the fanatic. Like, of course, never do. sense because there will be uh, 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 sportsman like yeah, and like not sports <laughs> integrity, you know, all this shit like that we all really care about. Yeah. So we decided to just yeah just win it, give it our best. Makes sense. All right, um, 
Perks, please take us through this fantastic bait in the mid lane. Oh shit, yeah, that was fucking ballsy, bro. I remember that. Yeah. You just bait in the mid lane. You eat in, right? Oh yeah. Uh, Mickey flash. has uh, Mickey has QSS and lantern, so I just have trust in my support that he's not wow. enough into. Honestly, I think he should have lantern me like a bit earlier, just to make sure that I can't like miss like that wall bear hasn't boarded or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I, so I think he should like instant lantern me. And then, uh, and then it's it's fine. I like it. I actually like it. Big balls. I like it. All right. So yeah, I think that was the only thing. Just need the uh, Mickey Lantern and like. Do, half do, a do you do you think that so do you think that's your thing like with AD carries like do you think that you're just a, like just more aggressive than the usual AD carry? Um, I don't know. I guess it depends what kind of AD carry. A good AD carry is probably gonna play same as me and. A, Bad one is gonna play worse. So. <laughs> so, so, so what do you think differentiates you? And this is actually a serious question, okay? What do you think differentiates okay. you from other AD carries, or I guess more traditional AD carries? Like, what part from your mindset or how you play the game? Mm. Well, I just play. It. I mean, I don't play it. I try to play it to perfection, I guess. Like maximize every possible outcome and factor that comes into play when I do a specific play. So, yeah, just play good, I guess. Pl know your limits, know champion limits. It's mid lane versus think, AD. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, sorry, I thought we were finished. Yeah, no, you can say. <laughs> I'm yeah, done, it's, actually. So it's mid lane versus AD, like in terms of limit testing, like can you limit test more in mid lane than you can as AD? Yeah, you can do like much more limit testing in mid because uh, the risk is much lower usually because you just have I mean, usually you have like some really OP spell that just prevents you from dying uh, or a dash, like on most champs. Or like you can disengage a team fight alone with like champs like Cinder or Yana, stuff like that. But with AD, you make one mistake and you're just instantly dead, basically. So it's why you're playing more on the edge, I guess, rather than it's like more risky. That's why most of the carries do play for KDA. Uh, I see. At least some of them. Like, uh, yeah, I'm not going to mention names right now, but <laughs> they know who they are when they see this video. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay fair enough. And, uh, yeah. All right, um, let's go for fun questions. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do Instagram, Twitter, and Weibo. I love fun questions, man. Yeah, like, me too. It's going to be fun. All right. How many followers do we have on Weibo, Carlos? What? How many followers do we have on Weibo? That's actually a great question. Let me check. I think we have the biggest Weibo right now out of every team. Biggest uh, and, and, and and there is a Shit. Chinese there's a Chinese TikTok. Um there is? Yeah. That it's we're, uh, we're Dujin, right? Yeah. We are growing so fast in that one. Uh, but yeah, we, we must be first or second. If we are second, it'll be behind uh, TL I think because they were first. Or or sorry, Fnatic because they were first there. No, it was still TL because they were first. But I think we're first anyway. And in every other platform in China we're we're first. What can I say? You guys are too good, you know? With the Chinese. Nice, man. The Chinese fans, man. Question from Instagram, from Kevin Janet Janetsky. Um, Perks, are you going to try Yoni AD carry? Yoni? 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 Uh, Yoni? Uh, I would... Yoni? I don't know. I have no idea. I will not uh, try to say it. I'm going to try it. Uh, probably. After Worlds, yeah. Um... Right now, he's not enabled for worlds, and he's not going to be Oh, really? He's not enabled for worlds? Well, that sucks. No, no, no. And, uh, well, I think Rav made a good choice if you're not enabling him for worlds. Like, okay. he would be another, like, pain maker, headache champ that would give headache to every team, probably. So, it makes the game, like, slightly less volatile than it could have been. Maybe, like, a champ that would be permaban for worlds would be bad again for 50 year in a row. Okay. Yeah, you know. So. <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't uh, we'll fucking end with Rihanna like every fucking world. <laughs> so I don't know what's worse. Ah, uh, she wasn't every world. So. Not every world. No. Which world did Rihanna actually. appear? Ah, uh, she was not really that good at season seven, season eight, and season okay. nine. Okay. Like season nine, it was only uh, cups and rookie that were playing her. Okay. Season eight, absolutely nobody played Rihanna, and season seven was. Like, literally no one played there besides, besides Faker in the first three games of groups. 
Okay. So and it, like it wasn't actually it, it wasn't actually that that, that popular pick the last few years. All right. Um, question from Jay Thicky from uh, Instagram as well. Perx, if you could play against one player at their peak, which lane would you play and against who? Um, ooh, that, that's an interesting question. I would probably play. Um, I would probably love to play uh, Midland against uh, season ten, season ten Spring Speed Perks. I think <laughs> that 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 would be a really good matchup right now. Uh, I would really love to see at oh, our strengths man, at our peaks. Uh, I wonder who would actually win the matchup. Um, why do I expect so, serious answers from you, man? So why I do I fucking that, expect? I think I think that's actually one matchup I would really have. I would really love to play against myself because I would love to see if I could I would, beat yourself. I would beat myself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would, sm I would smart myself. Yeah, that would be a fucking hard task, dude. Like I swear. You know the patience, man. I have. How many fucking years are we together now? Five, six, five. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I five guess for a long together. time. Yeah. Five years together. How? How? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll here. retire soon, so then then we'll be apart. Yeah, but then you, you'll, <laughs> piss me, you'll find a way to piss me off. <laughs> you'll find a way. Um, <laughs> from Twitter, from at Perk's wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's not a joke. It's at Perk's wife, okay? Have you already chosen your skins for when you win Worlds? That's a good question, by the way. That's a great question. What would you choose? Oof. I don't know. I don't know, it's a hard question because last year would have been really easy. Last year would be like an easiest Yasuo cho choice of my life. Oh shit, that's true. But this year I haven't really played Yasuo bot. Well, maybe it comes great. out into play again in Worlds. Who knows, man? But maybe, maybe I'll have to at least bring it up for one game for uh, Worlds. Wait, I have an idea, bro. If Yasuo is not a thing in bot lane, you can always play Syndra and then Caps chooses your skin. I mean, the, the Syndra and you, ch and you choose... He's Yasuo. Think about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's true, yeah. Yeah. But uh, other than that, I don't know. I, I don't know what I would choose. Like, I, I don't know, actually have, like, a favorite Eddie Carey right now that I would choose. Uh, maybe Lucian, but he's not really meta either. So it would probably have to be some champ that already has a skin, which makes it slightly more boring uh, than having, like, a champion with... Bro, but Jin has a mask, bro. Yeah, but SKT has a Jin skin. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. I was thinking about the Kane actually. Because if you get Kane, then you, they need to re make red Kane, blue Kane, and Kane. So you get three skins in one. That's true. How insane is that? That is true. So yeah. all we have to do is just play Kane as worlds and then uh, choose Kane skin. And you will have like a Assassin Kane, Tank Kane, and Kane. Yeah. The problem of I mean, this is that choice. you just told me a jungler, they right? They want to play Kane as worlds. No, but that's you, 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 you yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just, just said a jungler, right? But the thing is that nobody asked him a question about this. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's fine, it's fine, Carlos. <laughs> I'll just keep quiet. You can talk to your boy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, Twitter, at CallMeFLG. Jankos, how often do you interact with players from other G2 teams like CS, Siege, and such? Have you, uh, have you even met them? I said Jankos, but I said it out, by the way, I said it out of pity because this question was not for Jankos. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I asked Jankos and, and, and Perix if you interact you can, with anybody. You can ask Perix because I don't really don't know. I, I never spoke to anyone from other teams, so maybe Perix did. Um, I don't, I mean, I spoke with Mixel. I think that's the, I think that's the only player I actually, I mean, I guess we did play like the Valorant show match with G, G2 CS got team. Oh, so yeah. like it's like I spoke with all the G2 players over my career, but I haven't talked with someone like more than a bit besides with Mixel. I chatted with him a bit. Uh just like some weeks ago on Twitter and stuff. Weibo. Question from Weibo. <laughs> this this handles. <laughs> At Adios the guest from the galaxy. <laughs> That's actually the name. Ad Adios, the guest from the galaxy. <laughs> Which world championship does Jankos think is his prime Jankos period? <laughs> the 1997-1990 era. Ah. Wait, how many? Three, right? Three, three of them only. I don't know how, how many like you played, Six bro. or seven years I've been playing. It's only three. Oh, um, come on, man. 
a bit too hard. I mean, I don't know, hard to say. Um, I guess probably last year. Maybe not with Kiana, but everything else <laughs> was pretty fine. <laughs> everything that was not Kiana was good, actually. I mean, it, it, it depends, right? Because, I mean, if you ask about, like, the prime, then you could say that I was probably, like, the most hard caring in 2016. And I was not as, like, hard caring in 18, 19. But my, like, what my role and my game understanding also changed. So I would assume that I probably, hopefully, played better in, like, the latest years. So I would probably just say the latest one, 19. Um. Yeah, bro. When you were in H two K, you were getting fucking side lanes and all the farm from everybody. So you were just a selfish, <laughs> selfish bastard. It's true. I mean, in H two K, it was like uh, people would like not win as many lanes, right? So I could just kind of tax and gank as well. But in G two, it's more of a everyone is taking my farm, so I just gank, I guess, and cover. <laughs> it's a different you know. job, yeah. Now he nowadays he gets paid for doing Drakes and Heralds. Before <laughs> yeah, he that's what I had in Screams actually. <laughs> you know, I was like doing like uh, solo Drakes in Screams for the whole fucking day, right? Because okay. my boss would never move. I did a lot of Drakes and, myself. Um, I did a lot of Drakes myself in Screams. <laughs> yeah, you did one. Uh, and then uh, my bot lane, uh, my bot lane, and I was uh, and I was saying that like you should, you guys should help me. And then I got told by my ADK that like <laughs> I'm getting paid to do Drakes and, and not <laughs> Heralds. <laughs> So I should just like you know keep quiet and keep doing. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Uh, from Weibo, from at the Crescent Moon Heights in the Dark Night, that's the nickname. Except for G two, which team do you think is favored for world champion? Mm -hmm. So, so who do you think will get second in worlds? <laughs> that's what he means. Top esports, top esports, top esports. Probably. Okay. How are they ranked right now in the bullshit rank that uh, I don't know who does. Uh, I don't. You don't follow. I okay. wouldn't know. I, I don't follow. Yeah. Right, I know they're yeah. first in LPL, so probably the team that's first in LPL <laughs> will be the yeah, IG vice, is back. Vice back. world champion. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, IG is back up, right? IG is good again. Yeah, they're yeah second, I think. I think they're All second. Right. Yeah. Do they have the same lineup than before? Mm, well, they're yeah. different. Eddie Curry. All right. Wait, do they? Oh yeah, Jack Love is playing. Jack Love is in top yeah, esports, yeah. yeah. Um, oh shit, true, true, true. true. Um, all right, so um, at Nindex, yeah, and that's the, this is the last question, by the way. Uh, at Nindexia Zozuzonga, uh, Jangas and Perks, do you guys ever consider role swapping with each other? No. <laughs> I don't. I think it's too late for me to play lane unless it's support. I think support is the only role that doesn't like require. That much, wow. maybe. I mean, it's hard to say, right? Because I think laning phase is really hard with support, but I think everything else is the same. But why do you say that? Why do you say it's too late? You mean because you're too old for mechanics or what? Because I'm too old, yeah. Really? You think that's a do thing? Do you think I would like to learn like a, a other role right now? I would just prefer to like master the one I have. I do queue up as jungle occasionally when I'm really tilted from playing uh, Eddie Curry and then I just play Kha'Zix and one-shot everyone. But uh, <laughs> other than that, I don't, I'm not really interested in jungle. It's too much of a dog roll. <laughs> too much of a dog roll. <laughs> I'd rather play support. I think support is the most OP one. Uh, not dog. Don't have to farm. Don't have to do anything, actually. If you're like just like somewhat good at support, you're already going to... Be insane, insanely strong. So, bro, every time I watch your streams, either either yours, Luca, or yours, Jankos, every single time you're complaining about a bard support. I'm not even fucking kidding. Like this is a true story. Every single time I see you guys complaining about how broken support is, and it's typically a bard. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah, I mean, bard I mean, is like so fucking OP though. Like, it's I crazy. think bard is like way, roaming way too much, you know. Yeah, and like it's just yeah, too broken. It's so annoying. And I think Yona is actually really OP as well, but I'm banning Yona, so I don't really care that much. What does that yeah, one Yona. do? Is that the, the new one? Y Yona is the new one, yeah. It's like Yasuo 2 0. Yeah. He, right. he, I, I was playing uh, against him like twice or once maybe, and I know it just looked so fucking annoying. I, I couldn't like stand it, you know? Like he could dash to me three times and like out to me, and then he could like dash back, and I just couldn't believe it. So I just banned him after. All right, listen. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, you have uh, how long? You have a couple of weeks until your game. I mean, yeah, ten days ish until your game against Mad Lions. How are we feeling? Now we are more excited for the Fanatic Bro right now. Uh, BMW Fanatic Bro happening this Friday. So, good point. Good point. True. Good point. 
Well, thank you very much for the you know you know partners like that. <laughs> That's it. Then no no more questions, sir. Any anything you want to say, Luca? I know you always love saying things. So why don't you close this out? Wait, I love saying things. Yeah, you love saying things. So you will close um, this. Run it down. I'm really grateful for my sponsor, Red Bull. I drank a bit of it actually for this uh, show, and I really enjoyed it. And I'm also uh, really grateful for all the fans that tune in to watch Run It Down. Uh, it's G2 here, and we're going to keep running it down uh, <laughs> forever. <laughs> I hope we're not going to keep this show forever, because the show sucks, of course. But we're going to run it down in-game uh, for a long time. So, yeah. Uh, good night. Even though it's there <laughs> good right night. Now, but good night. All right, beautiful. Thank you very much. That was Run It Down, episode 7, uh, 11. I don't fucking know. Listen, I, I always hope this is the last one. Um, hopefully that is the case. Have a good day, everybody. <laughs>